Hello, my friends on YouTube. How you doing, amigos? Well, this is a special video. This is a super high video. I mean, I didn't know even if I could do it because look at my voice. I'm very sick, you know. I'm really, really sick, but I think we need to go into this video, guys, because it's a new expansion, man. Yeah, Dy Dynasties of India. Yeah, this is, this is, well, this is the link here. You can see everything here and it's... Well, if you make me feel hype, you know, really, really, really hype to see a new expansion, new new content for, for Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. You can listen to the game in the background and you can see absolutely everything we have. I mean, I could read everything, you know, but I want to make a, a review of the civilizations right away. The Bengalis, you can see that they are all elephant ships. I was just... Uh, doing the review yesterday on on my stream but i wanted to make a specific video for you guys because well youtube lovers right and uh, yeah i mean you can see all the historically here talking about them the bengalis i'm not going to go too much into that but i'm going to go into these the civilizations elephant and naval civilization civilization bonus elephant units receive 20 percent less bonus damage and are more resistant to conversions well it looks a little bit like like sicilian right you know, instead of 50, 25, but they are elephants, so tanky. Tom Center spawn two villages when the next age is reached. Well, I don't know how strong this can be, but you see Mayan, uh, two villages when the next age, it might if you go 19 population up, super quick up, you know, then you get instantly two villages more. Or if you make a drash, go for a fast castle, then you have what? Four villages more? Like, it's very basic, but... You understand that this can be sick. Sip regenerate 15 HP per minute. Well, in those battles, you know, when you are, when you see that they are repairing and so on, it might per minute. I mean, I believe that when you're doing the battle, it can regenerate. So if you are fighting against galleys, I'm not a fan of the galleys, you know, he's going to be very strong too. Unique unit is Ratha, Bengali unique carrier that can switch between melee and rage attack. So they can be like knight and arches at the same time. Oh my goodness, this looks amazing, right? A strong versus infantry, weak versus skirmishes and camel riders. It makes sense, you know? Uh, weak uh, against the bonus against the knights, the camels, and weak against the, the units that are bonus against the arches, the skirmishers. So, and it's a strong only versus infantry. Well, we'll see how it works, this one. But this is, it looks beautiful. The armor elephant, well, they replace the the rams, we are going to see everything, right? Because pigs, rather than elephants, units attack 20% faster, right? And Mahayana, villages take 10% less population space. Well, uh, that means that for 100 villages, you will get 90. So it's kind of like gods, probably even more, because if you get 150 villages, you can get probably 250 population, something like this. It's nice, it's very nice, you know? Then the Bengalis take three. Let's go for it. The Bengalis Tech Tree. I will, I will make it bigger. So, to to show you guys, you see here. Oh, and you can pause the video here and check everything yourself. Again, you know, uh, make a screenshot even if you if you want, you know. And then we have what Arbalest. No hand cannon here. Elephant archers from the archery range. Fantastic champions, you know. And then. The stable line with bloodlines with husbandry and juice elephants. Elite battle elephants. And then we can see here the siege workshop. Siege elephant, armor elephant, pretty sick. They don't have the plus four uh, armor for the infantry, okay, but everything else. All right, then uh, I'm going to avoid the dock, <laughs> but they have everything except the heavy demo ship, okay? And then in the university, everything except bomber towers, pretty sick. All right, and then we have here the unique unit. It looks, it looks so good, guys. Okay, this is this is even to zoom it. I want to check this, this very close, guys. I want to check. Sorry, I know that it can be a little bit dizzy for you. Oh my God, where is this? One moment. Yeah, where is the unique unit? We want to see the unique unit, right? Look at this elite Ratha. It's gonna be very nice. Gonna look so good. So, so good. I will give you the link under the description in the video, you know, so you can check even the trailer and everything. But here we have absolutely everything. And then the monks, let me use, yeah, let me just zoom out a little bit. 
The monks got everything except heresy. We usually, the elephant civilizations don't have heresy, okay? They don't have heresy at all. Okay, so now we're going to go back to this one. And uh, here we have the next civilization. We're going to check the Dravidians. Dravidians already. Okay, we see a new unit. Look at the water. I'm not super fan of water, but if you introduce new things on, on water, it's always going to be positive, you know? I mean, something else is always good. You see here, all historical again, and uh, but look, infantry and naval civilization receive plus 200 wood when advances to the next age. Plus 200 wood when advances to the next age. Man, this looks like a, a, a potentially a super strong one TC push, for example, imagine for some push with this 200 wood extra, or also for the boom, it's open a lot of possibility. But what likes them, what it excites me the most, guys, is that really, um, you know, discover new things, new strategies, new meta, new new change, you know. And I don't know, I have no idea because usually with these patches, with this uh, DLC, usually there is some, some new patch. Imagine that they make some change in other sieves or I don't know, whatever. It's gonna be a lot of new things on AoE2. Super hype, guys. Super hype. Fisherman, fishing is carry plus 15. Maybe it's too much. We will find out. Barrack technology costs minus, minus 50%. Well, <clears throat> it means that the halberdiers cost minus 50%. That can be a very, very cheap upgrade. Or also the champions and everything. Whoa. We will check now the tech tree and we confirm what infantry they have. Because maybe they don't have halves or something, right? Skimmers and elephants arches attack. 20% faster. So we see again Elephant Arches, amigos. Yes. Urumi Swordsman, Dravidian unique infantry unit which can charge its attack. It re reminds me a little bit of the Custelier, right? Strong versus buildings and infantry, weak versus arches at long range. Armored Elephant against the Ram's Elephants. Cannot be converted by monks from distance. Thiri Sadai. Well, guys, I don't know how to pronounce this. You know. Dravidian unique warship that fires multiple projectiles, strong versus warship. And then the unique text, medical corpse, elephants units regenerate 20 HP per minute. Okay, that's nice. This is the castle H tech and in Imperial, what's still infantry and cavalry attack, ignore armor. Whoa, like ladies, the cavalry ignore the armor and they regenerate the HP. They can make strong, very strong. And team bonus, Provide plus five population room. Okay. Then let's take the tech tree. Right? Let's zoom in a little bit. You can see again here the Dravinian technology tree completely. So you can check, pause the video, and then it looks like you are watching even more. So it's good for the video. <laughs> anyway, jokes aside, Arvalis, hand cannoneers. We were talking about the, the infantry. Well, it makes sense that they have almost everything, right? No eagles, obviously, but all the infantry. Sorry, all the infantry. So all this line, it's half the prices. That's sick. Guys, take a screenshot here. What the hell is this stable? Look, this is stable. Have you seen a stable worse than did order than the Eagles? You know, because we thought that the Malai was terrible. This is stable, man. What the hell? Battle elephants, that's it. Only that. And now we have the siege uh, elephant, but guys, siege onagers. Siege Onegers, this civilization, very interesting. No Bombarcanos, though. So, if they don't have Bombarcanos and uh, no Siege Engineer, the Siege Onegers are kind of... Mm, remind me to Malians, but also no Bombarcanos. Is there a civilization with Onegers like this? Kumans, if I'm not wrong, right? Yeah, I think so. Plus four is missing, makes sense. But everything else is there. So, the range units and the infantry. The, for water, they got everything. They got bombard towers, they got, well, very strong towers. Actually, well, that helps. And then this is the unique units. And now we want to see the unique units, right? Yes. I don't know when I zoom in, it's, it's going to this, this stage, but I want, sorry guys for this. I know it's a little bit dizzy, but guys, this is the unique unit, Urumi Swordsman. It looks to me a little bit like a Gebeto, maybe. I don't know. Like like the projectile, and this is the medical corp that would sell. But I wanted to show you the the unique unit. 
very nice. And the monks, well, not really great monks. So let's see how this civilization is going to work out. Let's go check again the technology tree. And we check again this 200 wood extra per next age is crazy. The fisherman and fishing ship, uh, it's very strong. The barrack technology, the skirmishes and elephant archers attack faster. They got thumbing, but no Parthian tactics. And that, they also don't have the bloodlines and no husbandry. So those elephant archers, well, they attack faster. But uh, Dazzle looks to be super strong elephant archer, right? Anyway, guys, this is the second civilization, but we have a third one. Do you want to see it? Let's go. Third civilization, that is going to be the Gurjarras. Guys, I don't know you, I will need a while to learn all those names, you know? Or, or not, right? Well, we will get used when we face them and we lose. All right, Gurjarras, you can see here. A lot of a lot of things that I'm not going to read, you see, and going directly to the civilization bonus. It start with two four ages bushes. That's nice. I believe this 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 will start on the TC, so you are not gonna get idle at all. I mean, if he's not the, the faster food, can carry some mills with the livestock to produce food. I'm not sure 100. percent I was talking yesterday in my Twitch channel, and people said, hey. You can garrison uh, sheep, uh, I don't know, and so on. And then it's produced food automatically there. Oh, wow. Well, let's see the concept. Bolted units deal plus 50% bonus damage. Well, the good thing with this is that you don't have to, to use villages for that. You put it there and it's produced the food. So uh, you can use the village for something else, I believe. So it's a bonus. It's a big bonus. We'll see how it works if you know or you think that this work uh, all the way uh, leave your commentary guys Monte units deal 50% bonus damage holy moly well basically this for example Monte units camels versus knights 50% bonus damage they eat the camels why they need this bonus you're gonna see very soon can carry some dogs with fishing ships can carry some dogs with fishing ships. Okay, it's not a question. It's an affirmation. Now, unique units, builders, and technology. Check front thro thrower. Gurhara unique infantry unit with ranged melee attack. Ranged melee attack. That means similar to what units, guys? The one from the Incas, guys. The Kamayuks. Strong versus infantry, weak versus archers, and siege weapons. I believe they, they might be strong against the cavalry, too. Well, we'll see. Gurhara. Urhara unit light light cavalry unit which can dodge projectiles. Strong versus archers, weak versus pikemen, and camel riders. Well, makes sense, you know? Makes sense. Camel scout, Urhara unique scout units, strong versus cavalry, weak versus pikemen, monks, and archer. Not, uh, not any, uh, well, nothing new, right? But you have a camel scout, which is very new. Armored elephant, anti building cavalry unit, resistant to most ranged attacks. Weak burst of the units cannot be converted by enemy monks from distance. Well, this is all the same for all the, the previous two sips and this one. And then a unique text Castrayash, military units cost minus 25% food. And you can do this in Castle Age. I wonder how expensive would be this upgrade. Frontier Wars. Camel Riders and Elephant Archers plus 4 melee armor. Whoa! Plus 4 melee armor to Camels and Elephant Archers. Camel and Elephant units created 20% faster. That's the team bonus. So, why they get this bonus? Plus 4 melee armor, right? Why they get this, this bonus with mounted units plus 50% bonus damage? Let's check. Okay, we see here the technology here. But guys, they don't even have pikes. They have a spear, like the Turks. Only, only spears. Do you understand now those bonus? Mounted units, you know? They need that the camels dominate, but they have heavy camel rider, you know? Okay, they have hand cannoneers, they have ele elephant arches, a little elephant arches with thumbbrin, no part and taxes, but at least they have bloodlines and, and husbandry, you know? So it is different, but all three elephant archers. Now the rams, the siege elephant ram again, and you can see here, they are missing the plus four attack. So it makes sense also the 50% the, the bonus more, you know, and no the fourth armor for the range units. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And well, camel rays and elephant archers plus four melee armor. All right. Use melee armor, not, not pierce armor. So, wow, it's, it's gonna be, it can be crazy, actually. Crazy upgrades, crazy bonus there. 
very strong. Oh, actually, maybe the, in the previous one is not like a beta. This looks more like a beta, right? Anyway, let's check the unique unit. Okay. Unique unit here, Chakran Thrower. Yeah, man. But we don't know more. We need to wait to see. But it looks cool, guys. It looks cool. But guys, this is not finishing here. No, no, no. It's not finishing here. Why? Because they have changed another civilization. The old Indians become now. We can see here full campaigns, everything. I'm going down with more stuff. This is the new Indians, guys. Hindustanis. And they change quite a lot. Why? They lose the elephant archers. You know? They don't have the elephant archers as unique units. New unique units. And they change basically the camels completely. Why? Well, the lace is still the same. Camel Red is attacking now 25% faster and a big change into the gun powers, the hand cannon units. Gun power units plus one, plus one armor. My goodness. Can build caravan, caravan Sedai in Imperial Age. We will see what is this, right? It might be a building, right? Unique unit. Gulam. Industani unique infantry unit that throws its spear through multiple targets. A strong versus archers, weak versus cavalry. Oh, wow. It, it, it's what? Unique infantry unit that throws its spear through multiple targets. Well, you have to explain me. People was trying to explain me yesterday on Twitch. And even if I know more or less what it is, I want you to explain me what is this. Below the video. Let's make, uh, 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 you know, good explanations. Tell me what it is. What do you think is this means, okay? Imperial Camel Rider. We still have the Imperial Camel Rider. And now unique buildings. Caravan Serai. Economic building heals and increases speed of trade card in a 10 tile radius. Whoa. Unique buildings of the Hindustanis. So speed and uh, heal. Interesting. Grand Truck Road, all gold income 10% faster. That was before, but it was uh, named differently. And Satagani, guys, the hand cannoneers, plus two range. Plus two range, what the hell? Camel Light Cap units, plus two attack versus buildings. Well, this was similar too, and now the Tech 3. But as you can see, they have changed a lot. Because now the camels don't get the plus three pierce armor. So the camels will have more problems in castle if they become much stronger in Imperial, you know? And you're gonna see that they have recovered the plate burden armor, you know? We still have no arbalets, hand cannoneers, heavy cabarches have lost something very important. What? Parthian tactics. So the cabar arches is still uh, useful on castleage. Thumbbrain, you know, but in Imperial, they lose Parthian Tactics. That's a big loss, honestly. I don't know if I am I like that one. They lose, obviously. They don't have Elephant Archers, Champion, Halberdiers. <clears throat> and the Hazards and Imperial Camels now are much stronger than Hazards, well, in Imp. But they don't have also the extra bonus with the Light Caps, that they were very strong against range units. We have the Siege Elephants, Ornagers, Bombard Cannons, and you see they recovered the plus four. The plus four, the Halvardias and the champions still with not plus four. Okay. And everything else still the same except the unique unit that is here, Elite Gulam. I will just zoom in here and you see here the Elite Gulam. Okay. And everything else seems to be pretty much the same. Well, guys, this is a, the review. This is the review of this new patch. Of course, there is some more things as well with the campaigns and other, and other stuff, but I usually like to check mostly the civilizations. If you want to check uh, everything else, you know, I will give you the link under the description. And well, what can I tell you guys? I tell you that I'm so hyped, motivated, and hopefully you are too. We love this game. More content for Age of Empires 2. And if you like the video, thumb up subscribe and well leave the commentary below below the video okay thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more very soon